Hi, I'm the Accidental Brewer, and today we're going to check in on the Spice Pie Mint. Um, and if you're asking, yes, I am wearing the same shirt from the last episode that you might have watched. Sometimes I do these in batches. It's better for me that way. Get this off. So we started this on October 11th, 2020, and the original gravity was uh, 1.08. Well, I added uh, three points of gravity by adding some um, some honey to it, um, and now it's at 1.1 uh, for its original gravity, and now we're going to see what the uh, final gravity is. See if it chewed through that three points of gravity. It's a nice kind of rose color, which happens with the other pie mint that I made. Um, and that one ended up being really nice. So this one seems like it went down again. And it went down to 1.2. So it'll be a little bit sweet. I think that's what I planned on it being uh, last time. So that's 11.8% 11, 11 ABV, which is right at 12. Um, and what yeast did I use for this? Use Lawlin EC118. So it definitely should be able to eat through some more of this. So I don't think I'm going to, um, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to uh, bottle this today. I think what I'm going to do is move it over to uh, another jug, to another container, and um, then I'm gonna see how it tastes. If it tastes good, then what I may do is um, put some stuff in it to kill the, um, the yeast that could possibly be in there. It smells nice. It's very clear, nice color to it. Mm, that is very spicy and sweet. I like it like that. It's, it's pretty good. I think I'm going to leave it alone. I think the only thing that I'm going to do, get another container, move it over, and then um, you know, we'll move on to the next. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna rack it over here, and then I've got a container over there that's uh, getting ready, and should be in a good spot here shortly. So what I'm doing is stabilizing the yeast. Um, I have a Camden tablet in here that uh, I'm crushing up as the, uh, the liquid flows into it. I just kind of broke it up a little bit in the uh, liquid. And um, I'm gonna take an eighth of a teaspoon, or a half a teaspoon of potassium sorbate, put it in here that should preserve the, um, the liquid and the brew, the wine, the pie mint. Um, then we'll kind of go from there. But right now, I think it's uh, it's lovely, and so there will be a bottling. It will happen in this video. It's just going to be a couple days before I do it because, or next weekend, you know, because um, I can't uh, can't do it immediately. I got to let this stuff uh, kill off and make sure that it doesn't start refermenting again, which is okay. And one thing I do like about this is that it's gotten very clear. Um, so, and I know I had added some pot, some spices to this. It has a very nice floral note, a good bit of body. Um, I like it. It's a little, a little spicier than probably some people would like, but this is this is what I like. It's got a lot of flavor to it. All right, so I'm going to take. A tablespoon or a half tablespoon and I'm gonna get some of this potassium sorbate 
and uh, drop that in here and then make sure that gets stirred in very well. I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to oxidize the brew, but I do need to make sure that both the Camden tablet and the potassium sorbate are um, in here. I suppose I could have added it to the uh, to the bottle once I had moved everything over, but I didn't think to do that, so that's not what happened. All right. Let me grab my bottling wand and be off to the next thing. going off to the next race all right uh, we've moved this over so we should be good and we're gonna put it back in the closet of fermentation for another like week and then I'll come back and I'll make sure it didn't ferment anymore I doubt it has it's been around since October uh, and then uh, if everything's good these bottles will get filled and my light just went out typical all right, again, different shirt, because you know, I do these things in batches. Um, so you probably saw me make the previous video about the um, fruit punch meat. But this is the Spice Pie Mint. Um, and basically, uh, I am just going to rack it over. I'm gonna make sure that it didn't uh, change gravities for some reason, and um, we'll go from there. All right, so first things first. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, uh, let's see how this thing tastes. Uh, I think I did all my adjustments about a week ago, and we just wanna see if it changed gravity. It might have went down by like 0 .001 point or something like that. I did add three points of gravity uh, to it uh, to sweeten it up a little bit. And then I add some, added some, uh, chemicals to, you know, hopefully make the yeast less active. And if it's still around point, oh, uh, well, so, Interesting thing, it went down to point oh two. So I'm not 100% convinced that it's not still gonna continue to ferment. And, um, oh no, wait, I'm sorry. It went down to point oh two last time. It should still be at point oh two. <laughs> uh, I, um, messed myself up there. So it hasn't changed in a week. Um, I think we're safe to, to bottle at this point. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get to that. Let's taste it first. I'm missing a snifter. Guess I'll have to go get it. I see it. Now that is some very, very clear liquid. Coffee maker agrees with me. Mm. Yeah, that's gonna be delicious. Um, it's just got all the right uh, things that you want. Last, last time it was a little overly um, aggressive on the spice, but I don't know what happened in a week. It just kind of mellowed out. The anise flavor um, is not as powerful, but it's still there. Um, it's just not as powerful. So we're gonna set this up and rack it over, and then we're gonna put it in uh, put it in these vessels right here. Uh, once I rack it over and get it off, whatever lease might have formed in the last week.
big bit of stuff down there in the bottom. That's good. Well, we're done bottling and we ended up with three 350, 375 milliliter uh, wine bottles and then one beer bottle and three quarters of a 375 milliliter bottle, um, which, you know, is always fun. Um, but we're going to call, so I've forgotten the last one to say exactly what this is. Uh, so this is uh, Midnight Run, is what we're calling this one. And that'll, that's going to be the name of the... Uh, uh, spice piment that I make from now on ex except I have new plans to make a spiced piment with wine grape juice concentrate so we don't know what we're gonna call that maybe somebody has some uh, something in the comments that they'd like to suggest some other things that we've thrown around are like midnight stumble and uh, you know morning run or uh, something like that so we'll see uh, that one's probably going to be a slightly higher ABV alcohol um, ABV mead anyways um, thanks so much for watching this has been the accidental brewer we have our social links down in the comments below we also would like for you to click that you like this video give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe and maybe engage with us on social media Thank you so much. Have a great day.